Aloha, Claire here, and I'm so excited because I've completed a massive project that many of you have been following, which is the mapping of our central nervous system um, as it innervates our surface, so the skin, starting from the top and going all the way down to the bottom of our toes. And so we have arrived at our last nerve which is the sacral plexus, and um, it comes, merges uh, in nerve roots inside your spine. It kind of comes out a little bit high, but these beautiful little, um, very fine nerves emerge from the little holes in your sacrum, and they flow down the back of your leg and go to the tips of your toes. So I'm just going to show you some pictures so you can see where we're going. This, the red part, is the sacral plexus and the surface area that it brings sensation to. So yes, it includes your private bits. It also includes your pelvic floor, your whole pelvic floor. And you can see it goes down the back of the leg and then it kind of splits and goes over the top of your heel and it goes to the outsides of your feet. And I'll give you a little bit more information about that. There are updates happening on these dermatome maps all the time. Um, these are from a doctor that does a lot of um, helping people who get their feet run over, so he knows more about feet than other people. And the yellow part here is the sacral plexus. So it's these outside three toes, and then there's a little um, bit under the heel here. There's a little bit of controversy, which I'll share with you, because some maps show that um, this yellow area comes all the way forward right underneath your big toe. So I kind of like to think about it that way, because I think the connections that I find through my whole body when I think about that big toe pad are, are helpful. So just to give you an idea of the powerful muscle groups that are underneath this skin, this is an illustration I found recently that shows how the hamstrings, which are red, interestingly, in this picture, how they slip up underneath those big muscles that we were talking about. Well, we didn't really talk about muscles, but in the lumbar dermatome, which enervates these um, other muscles, the, the big, the, uh, the names are escaping me, the quadriceps, um, the big muscles of your butt, so, and on down the leg. So just to bring with a very gentle attitude um, of exploration, of ease and exploration, if you sit down on the floor like this, you're pretty much uh, with this uh, nerve plexus. If you kind of hike up your pants a little bit, you'll feel the skin all of your whole pelvic floor through, from the, through the front to the back, and it goes up quite high, so just um, to the middle of your sacrum. And so if we just trace it very gently down the back of the leg here, across the hamstring connections, and just as you're touching your skin, you can have it be so soft and gentle just to bring sensation to the skin especially at the back of your knee. So letting that skin fold and be um, very easy. Pumpkin's sacral plexus would be back there. <laughs> um, and then down the back of your calf and it splits and one branch goes underneath your heel. <laughs> and then to these three toes right here. So um, those three toes have a kind of a wrapping motion. Sometimes we do this. So um, if you have your leg extended and you think about bringing those three toes towards your face, there's a kind of a natural rotation that happens in your foot. So 
if you trace the other one, and again, it's, it's not this part, it's right down the middle. If you have a tail, basically, um, if you, when you're coming down the calf, if you go under the heel here, again, some maps show that it goes to the big toe pad. And this is connected, the whole function of this um, musculature at the back of your leg is to extend your leg. So it makes a lot of sense that if you connect, basically what this plexus does is it covers a span from here and your little toe here. And when that gets stretched, it sends your tailbone very far away from your foot. Now, this takes us back up to our head because if we're bearing down on the spinal column, that last nerve, it's a lot of pressure. And so a lot of us end up getting over long periods of time uh, sciatica, some nerve problems, pelvic floor problems. So this connection, I kind of need to like, well, I'm not going to do it, but I could turn my camera upside down, that if we know to ease our head up, it takes the pressure off of our sacrum, and we can really express that full action of our legs in walking, um, in moving through our life. So thank you so much for following along. And uh, if you're interested in these, please do register for the daily email. There's going to be a bonus in there if you're interested in why I use the word aloha. I'm going to be talking about that next week. It's a beautiful Hawaiian word. I don't use it lightly. It has a lot of meaning. And I'd love for you to find out more about it. So please check it out. Uh, if you look uh, below this video, you'll see a URL where you can um, register for the daily emails I send five days a week. All right, peace and love. Bye.